What have you thought of Jalen so far this, this spring? Jalen's done a good job. You know, uh, obviously we're, we're, we're limiting some of the things that he does, and it's still hard to keep him out. You know, he's a guy that even when we're live, he still wants to go. But um, you know, he 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 he's taking a big jump in year two, you know, just from the meeting rooms, he's asking questions about what other positions are doing and, you know, blocking schemes. So you can tell he's trying to evolve and not just know what he's doing. He wants to know what everyone else is doing. He's also been a great leader to Alvin Kamar right now. So, uh, uh, you know, Jalen, Jalen's been good and, and hopefully he continues that throughout the spring. Alvin's older, right? Mm -hmm. so, so, I mean, is, is that an interesting dynamic between them where, where he's learning stuff from Jalen, really? Yeah, it is. You know what, um, um, he's a very um, uh, humble kid. You know, so even though he's maybe a little bit older than Jalen, he understands that Jalen's uh, uh, the reps that he's taking in this offense makes him a, a veteran. You know, so he's done a really good job of I won't say taking the back seat, but just allowing Jalen to give him suggestions and and push him. Uh, you know, because Jalen understands how we want practice to flow. He understands the tempo. And uh, sometimes you get an older guy, and he don't want to hear a younger guy that he's competing with, tell him what to do. But he's been good so far. You know, so that says a lot about him and the character that uh, uh, Alvin has. He just wants to win. I mean, he's been away from this league for a while. He just wants to do whatever he has to do to help this team win, and that's what you want. Coach, uh, as recruiting coordinator, looking at the schedule, I know you all going to be on TV for the spring game this year. I mean, what does that do for, for you guys' image and, and helping out with that? It's great. You know, uh, obviously, it's great to have a brand like Tennessee to sell. Right. Uh, you know, and anytime we can get on TV and they can see the power T uh, and, and, and see our fans selling out Neyland Stadium for the spring game, you know, that's a great opportunity. So, uh, you know, and that's something our kids, that's, that's why you come to Tennessee to get that kind of exposure. So, obviously, having a few kids that graduated early and having the, uh, the other kids that, uh, that, that are watching at home, you know, it's great to, to be able to have that kind of exposure. And again, that's the power of Tennessee. Coach Gillespie, with so many injuries at your spot, Coach Jones was talking about getting creative, mm -hmm. especially in scrimmage type situations. What have you had to do from a coaching standpoint to make sure your guys are getting valuable work in? Um, you know, just, uh, you know, I think Coach Jones, for one, has done a really good job of picking the tempos and, and style of practice. Obviously, we like to be able to go out there and tackle every day, and we need it as running backs, and defensive guys need it also. But we just have to be smart and understand that um, we want to do what's best for the spring so that way the fall we can be successful. You know, so Coach Jones does a really good job of scripting practice. So that way Jalen can get those reps. He's still a young kid, and he needs to get reps, and obviously uh, Alvin needs to get his. And we've actually had to have a few guys that are, that are walk-ons to, to, to get some meaningful reps. And, and actually done a good job so um, obviously we wish we had a little bit more depth and guys were a little bit more healthier but right now we're not but I think coach Jones and us as a staff we're doing a great job of creating competition but being safe as we do that I know there's some negatives of not being able to get those guys yep. you know that tackling but are there some positives too what well, is positive because you know uh, obviously uh, you would like to tackle every day from a defensive standpoint. But I think sometimes when you're in third situations, you have to learn how to break down and come to balance. And I think those are the things that hearing Coach Jansen talk uh, to the team in meetings and talk to the defense that I think sometimes when you slow things down, you do get better at technique. You know, obviously uh, us as an offense, we still need to get the tackling, but we also have to slow things down this spring too and uh, get better at fundamentals. You know, fortunately, we have a lot of guys returning on offense. Um, you know, we have a few new guys that are coming that graduated early, but this spring is probably the first time we've been able to slow things down and work on the fundamentals. And like I was telling one guy, uh, Jalen Hurd, even in meetings, trying to figure out all the blocking schemes now because he's figured out what he does. Now he's talking about all the blocking schemes and terms that the offensive line uses. So that's what we are now in the maturation process of our offense, that guys are learning not only what they do, but what the next person does also. We may have talked about this already. How is Alvin in that area of pass protection? Really good. You know, uh, obviously, uh, you know, just talking with him, we do things a little bit differently than, than, than some of the places he's been, but uh, very smart. Um, the Jalen Hurd's uh, obviously been a great resource for him just to kind of, uh, you know, because I will teach it on the board and we'll talk about it, but then, you know, Jalen's a guy that's been in those situations, so you can see him giving him the on-the-field point of view, you know, just the small indicators that he looks for. So it's been really good. I mean, he's a very competitive kid. Um, hadn't been perfect in pass protection, but that's what kind of fuels him to go the next snap because he wants to be perfect, not only running the ball, but also protecting. And uh, so he's taking pride in that, and he has a long way to go, but uh, he's been really good so far with two days in the pass. I know you guys don't have ideal depth at the running back position, but could there be scenarios and situations where both Jalen and, and Alvin are on the field at the same time? Absolutely. You know, th th those, are, those are things, obviously, we want to make sure we concentrate and focus on uh, creating an identity of who we are with our base package during the spring. Um, and then as we go on, you know, throughout the summer and, 
and going to fall camp, those are things we're definitely going to look into and, and trying to find ways to put our best football players on the field. And obviously, Pig and, and Pearson and, and uh, Jalen Alvin, those guys, they're guys we have to find ways to get them on the field all at the same time. And uh, I'm sure Coach DeBoard uh, will have some creative ways to do that, and we'll, we'll sit down together and figure out the best way to get the best 11 on the field. You mentioned the pass protection for Jalen. What other areas do you think he's better now than he was as a freshman? Uh, you, you know what, just, just, just seeing the game pre-snap. You know, and, and, and that's a lot of, I think, year one, you just kind of get out there. And if you look at his first couple games, he was just gangly and rangy and kind of stumbling and bumming like a new giraffe, new baby giraffe, and we laugh at it now. But he understands body control. He understands taking his pre-snap reads, not only on pass plays, but on run plays. He's understanding, you know, what the offensive line is doing up front. And that, that determines his tempo on certain run plays. So, you know, just, uh, you know, today I asked him, I said, what's the one thing you want to continue to get better at? He said, pad level. You know, obviously he's about 232 pounds right now. He played last year at about 222, 223. He's put on seven or eight pounds. And uh, the next thing he wants to do is continue to work on staying low so he has more power at the end of his runs. How much is him picking up on those things, pre-snap reads? How much does that help the offensive line? Oh, it, it, it helps tremendously. You know, uh, like I said, I think uh, with anything, I think you first learn what you do. And as you evolve and you get comfortable in what you do, you learn what they do. Uh, now, I'm not going to sit here and say he didn't have an understanding of the offense. He did, smart kid, because he went through spring. But, like you said, now it's just even more, you know, with, 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 with maturity, with more reps, with making some mistakes as a freshman. I think a sophomore year will be a lot better because he understands now from the mistakes he made. The depth concern, is there any thought of bringing anybody else over to the running back group? No, no everybody's got depth issues. I mean, Coach Stripling would love to take a guy and put him at defensive end, a D-tackle if he could. Or, you know, uh, Coach Martinez got some depth or issues. Everyone has, and that's what spring's about. You know, so it, it, I don't care who wins the spring game. You know, it's, 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 that's not. You know, these practices that we're taking, these 14 practices, will be way more important in the spring game. Obviously, we want to enjoy the fans and the environment. It's great for recruiting, but uh, overall. Um, we're going to take our time and just get better with fundamentals. And then we have some guys coming in this summer uh, that will be able to help us when we get to fall. So you haven't grabbed Evan Berry at all? No, absolutely not. You know, Evan's a guy that needs all the reps he can get to become a guy at safety. You know, it would be unfair to him to take him over here and put him at running back when Jalen Hurd's going to be a guy. You know, Ivan Kamara's going to be a guy. Uh, John Kelly's going to be a guy. You know, so we got guys that's going to come in and be big-time running backs. And uh, we wouldn't just want to fill a, a plug in for – the spring, and, and that's unfair to him to continue to get better for the fall as a safety. Now, it seemed like Jalen had a lot of success last year when y'all went to that shorter pistol formation instead of being in the shotgun. How can he get better being in the shotgun? Because it seems like that's what Butch likes to, the formation he likes to be in a lot. You know what? Uh, we broke it down. He had way more success being offset than he did in the pistol. Really? To be honest with you, he okay. did. And, um, you know, we're going to continue to do what's best for the offense, what's best for our quarterback. It's a system, you know, things that's um, uh, we have to make sure we play off of the strengths of our quarterback. Our quarterback has to play off the strengths of our receiver. So um, we don't build our offense around one person. You know, we have to kind of plug and do what's best for the whole deal. And right now, you know, where, where we align him doesn't matter. Where Marshawn Lynch aligns doesn't matter. He's a baller. You give him the ball, he makes plays. And that's what Jalen is. He, he's, a, he's a good football player. And wherever he lines up in the slot, in the eye, in the wishbone, in the wing, he's going to make plays.